redefining China-Africa relations for a new era. Hello and welcome. This is News Festivities, your daily source of news bites. The upcoming forum on China-Africa cooperation summit promises to be a pivotal moment in the evolving relationship between China and the African continent. As Chinese President Xi Jinping appears to open the ninth summit, all eyes will be on Beijing to see how the China plans to recalibrate its strategy toward this Africa amid shifting global economic and geopolitical dynamics. With 50 African nations in attendance, this summit could define the trajectory of China-Africa relations for the next several years, particularly regarding trade, investment, and development. China's evolving strategy, a shift from mega-infrastructure to targeted projects. Under Xi Jinping's leadership, China is reorienting its international development strategy. Gone are the days of large-scale infrastructure projects being the cornerstone of China's engagement with Africa. Xi's new mantra of small and beautiful projects signifies a shift toward this more targeted investment. This reorientation reflects a broader Chinese effort to slim down its investment portfolio while focusing on projects with more immediate, tangible benefits. During the previous summit in Dakar in 2021, infrastructure was not heavily emphasized and it is expected to play an even smaller role this year. Instead, Xi is likely to highlight sectors such as green technologies, digital finance and e-payment systems, which align with China's need to diversify its export markets and find buyers for its technological overcapacity. The strategic pivot also positions China as a leader in the global green transition, which is increasingly becoming a priority for African nations facing climate-related challenges. What African leaders expect addressing date trade imbalances in jobs. While China is adjusting its approach, African leaders have their own pressing concerns. The continent is grappling with a growing debt crisis exacerbated by global economic instability and rising borrowing costs. For many African countries, securing quicker and more flexible financing solutions will be a top priority during the negotiations in Beijing. They will be need to see concrete commitments in the Beijing Action Plan for 2025-2027 that address this issue. Moreover, African leaders will be pushing for job-creating investments and assurances that previously proposed projects, particularly those promised in Dakar, will be completed. With unemployment and underemployment persisting as a critical issue across the continent, investment in sectors that generate employment will be high on the agenda. South African President Ramaphosa's recent discussions with Xi underscored any key demand shared by many African states, narrowing trade deficits with China. African leaders will be looking for more favorable trade terms, particularly for their agriculture and natural resources export. While China has long been Africa's largest trading partner, the trade balance has often favored Beijing, leading to growing concerns about the sustainability of such relationships for African economies. Border implications China's influence and global competition. This summit also takes place against a backdrop of intensifying competition between China and the US and Europe for influence in Africa. Chinese investment, particularly in green technology, will likely be framed as alternatives to Western options, offering African countries more choice in a rapidly shifting global landscape. As the US and Europe push for their own green transitions, China will be known to emphasize its willingness to partner with Africa on these initiatives, while also opening new markets for its surplus technologies. The summit is also a stage for China to reinforce its status as Africa's largest bilateral lender. Last year, China approved $4.61 billion in loans to Africa, marking the first annual increase in such lending since 2016. While China aims to streamline its investment portfolio, this increase signals Beijing's ongoing commitment to supporting African development, albeit with a more cautious and targeted approach. Overall, the ninth Forum on China-Africa Cooperation Summit will be a defining moment for China-Africa relations. As China 
recalibrates its strategy toward a smaller, more focused investment, African leaders will be seeking assurances that their most pressing concerns, date relief, job creation, and trade imbalances are addressed. The outcomes of this summit could reshape the dynamics of China's engagement with Africa as both sides navigate a complex global environment marked by economic challenge and shifting geopolitical alliances. This was our news analysis for today. Make sure to join us for another edition of News Festa Days.